but you know, again, it was so crowded here. I mean, I can't go to my own beaches anymore. I cannot go to Sand Harbor where I grew up unless I get in line at seven in the morning. It's just really sad. The day trippers um, are expanding um, the inability for the residents to grocery shop and be up here. So it was time for us to move. We get more than 15 million visitors a year to Lake Tahoe and the issues are associated with just the impact of that use. So that's litter left behind on our beaches and in our sled hills. There's an impact from the traffic into the lake. So one of the biggest causes of clarity loss is from the sediment loading into the lake from our urban landscape. We know that we have some problems and we know that we need to really get out of the um, the tourism marketing business and get into the tourism management business. We're not a national park, we don't have gates, we're not going to ever shut the door on folks. 80 plus percent of the land here is public land, and by public land that means it's everyone's land. It's my land, it's your land, it's, it's everyone's land. And so um, what we need to do is better educate people, build a culture of caretaking so people understand how to recreate in this environment. Um, and then we need to build out the infrastructure to better manage people. Tahoe itself is special and the environment is something we want to save. There's not very many Tahos in the world.